waiting, watching, anticipating. This is a exciting historical event about to happen. When do you get to wake up and see a bridge blown up? We're going to have some noise and for just a few seconds nothing will happen and the bridge will slowly sink into the river. But when the boom blasted, <laughs> Broadway Bridge didn't budge. Um, well it didn't work. Confused kids feeling a bit let down. Um, it didn't fall down. Adults feeling it too. I'm disappointed because my two grandkids from Memphis are here to watch it. From Afghanistan to Arkadelphia, people were watching. THB's Facebook Live videos of the bridge reached nearly 100,000 people. Hashtag Broadway Bridge even became a trending Twitter topic. Someone even made a satirical account of the Broadway Bridge fighting back against being torn down. But although the detonation didn't deliver, not everyone was devastated. We're going to Damon Buster's today. Another big boom over the Arkansas River today, and once again, an implosion did not go exactly as planned. The demolition of the Broadway Bridge began Tuesday with what was supposed to be an implosion of the steel arch, except that the explosives failed to bring the bridge down. A crane finished the job about five hours later. Well, today came the removal of three older concrete archways. Our Jamal Goss followed the action this morning to see how long it took this time to get the job done. After 93 years, Broadway Bridge is no longer. What provided thousands of commuters with an alternate route from Little Rock to North Little Rock now awaits a facelift. But let's just say it didn't go down without a fight. Those spans pretty much reached the end of their useful service life. Just after 8 a.m. And uh, today they're no more. Sounds of horns warn people of history being demolished. Moments later, what we've all been waiting for happen. All in all, it was a successful demolition this morning. Certainly a more impressive event than what we saw on Tuesday in terms of the explosion. Arkansas Department of Highways Danny Strasley says unlike the prior explosion, this one is different. Concrete versus steel and another factor, the difference in age. That arch that we brought down earlier in the week was only about 40 years old. It was installed when the Corps of Engineers channelized the Arkansas River. While live streaming, viewers say sounds of the explosion could be heard as far as West Little Rock but not all of the bridge is completely gone. Part of the third arch is still standing. Strasley tells me contractors will bring out a pneumatic ramp previously used to handle the remaining arch. Well, they'll get those loaded on a barge and they'll start re they'll reach up there and they'll start hitting it. It shouldn't take much for that arch to come down. But for now, we say goodbye to a longtime friend and await its much needed facelift, saying thank you for a service well done from Little Rock. Reporting from Main Street Bridge, I'm Jamal Goss for THB 11 News.